ChatGPT just crossed 100 million users in just two months. Whereas other famous apps such as Google, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, each took more than one year to four years to reach 100 million user mark and ChatGPT just did that in two months. With this exponential growth and infinite use cases of ChatGPT, and people are thinking that will ChatGPT kill Google or is ChatGPT the new way to search? To get towards the answer, let's see how Google and ChatGPT works. So you go to Google and type in whatever you want and Google based on your keywords and popularity shows you lots of links from there you have to sort everything out which get quite tedious sometimes. And here on flip side our legend chat GPT just solves that hassle. Ok here's how chat GPT works I have explained it in last video if you haven't checked please check it out. So here's how chat GPT works. ChatGPT takes prompts from us and gives us direct results what we want. If you ask it to write about some famous personality, it will write about that famous personality and it just matches that tedious part of opening a website, going through it, reading it and fetching out information. We had to do that ourselves but here in ChatGPT, it's already served nicely according to our needs. And with this advantage of ChatGPT, people started thinking, will ChatGPT replace Google? Or will ChatGPT kill Google? And the most straightforward answer I can give you guys is no. ChatGPT is not going to replace or kill Google. And I'm going to explain why ChatGPT can never kill Google. And this is the point where video gets interesting so stay tuned. Google's artificial intelligence game is way ahead of ChatGPT. To your surprise, ChatGPT is based on Google's AI transformer architecture which is like six years old the span of six years google have advanced themselves to the next level and recently you might have heard that google is issuing some kind of code red some kind of code red and yes it was about chat gpt uh, google is not scared but they are bracing themselves to fight chat gpt and they have clear strategy how they are going to tackle this and to your surprise google's weakest ai chatbot which is sparrow which is based on chinchilla model is like stronger than ChatGPT. It just ruthlessly beats ChatGPT in AI benchmark test. The very clear advantage of Sparrow over ChatGPT is Sparrow can provide evidence of, of its outputs. ChatGPT is not perfect every single time. With the Google's huge database, Sparrow can show you the evidence from where it took out the answers. So if it has evidence, the information has to be right. This is not the complete story. Google has more powerful AIs than these two. Okay, so this AI Lambda from Google is just another level. This AI is so powerful that ChatGPT is just nothing in front of it. Why I'm saying this? Because Lambda AI has module called Mina which acts as ChatGPT. Means the ChatGPT is just like a module in Lambda. From this you can guess how strong Lambda is. Lambda has another wide spectrum of use cases. For example, if you ask ChatGPT about which was released like two days or two weeks weeks ago, ChatGPT is not able to tell that. It says that the database is still this date, this date, but ChatGPT doesn't answer that. But Lambda on flip side can query, query the web about the movie or the latest show. It can understand this the web its information and, and it can give you answers based on those web results. This this example was given in one interview where a famous Google engineer also stated that Lambda can watch movies and understand it to answer your query. That's mind blowing means it can understand the web. It can understand web page styles and it just it can feel and it can learn. Lambda's training data is such insane that it gives it makes it very articulate and close to human yeah this was lambda and it's already very powerful and chat gpt is chat gpt seems nothing in front of it and if you aren't blown away it just be ready because i'm going to reveal here's the google's most powerful ai model the name of most powerful ai that google has is paul 
Polyzer AI model which is based on more than 40 billion parameters and that's some insane level of computational power and you guys won't be surprised if I tell you Paul's training data consists of our social media conversation, web pages, the books which we read, which makes the training data so versatile and it just makes it so powerful. And in solving some intelligent based tests, it's surpassed average human being, which makes it so powerful that now, now the question becomes more relevant that AIs are gonna take away your jobs like I have talked about that in last video I had and that time I had no idea Google has these powerful AIs but now your job seems to be so, so back to question will chat GPT kill Google no chat GPT will not kill Google but you but you guys might be thinking what's Google doing why Google is not releasing it's these powerful AI chatbots and AIs out in public See, Google doesn't need to release these AIs publicly yet. And the answer is pretty simple. Google is already a giant in their search engine game. And Google is largest advertising agency out there. And So I was just in my last phase of editing my video. Then suddenly news came that Google finally released the, the chat GPT's rival name Bard and that's literally mind blowing because i shot the rest of the video like two days ago and i mean just today google launched it <laughs> and that's a pretty interesting coincidence so so as i told you google has a powerful ai model named lambda and basically google used lambda in bard but but this version of lambda which is used in bard is pretty nerf down version of the original lambda because yeah it's the first ai chatbot that google is releasing it and they want to test out the things and yeah that's pretty much it yaar mujhe laga tha ki finally ye video shoot ho ke ab main edit kar ke wo upload kar dunga waise news aayi so yeah anyways i'm shooting this part after like two days <laughs> So anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. Unlike ChatGPT3 who is just 2 to 3 months old, in, in terms of monetizing this stuff, ChatGPT does not stand in front of Google. And you might have heard that ChatGPT releases some subscription plan which is $20 a month and that's actually a lot for a product like ChatGPT. I know it's very useful but it just smashes down the purpose of ChatGPT. I know, I know the running ChatGPT needs a lot of computational power and stuff but $20 a month it's just too expensive for a common person and about google's ai why don't they release them publicly like they can release chinchilla sparrow lambda and paul very easily right now but because those ai possess some huge capabilities which are beyond our imagination and if that ai gets into wrong hands that could have very bad repercussions and google knows it and google really doesn't need to release them right now there are some public versions available right now but they are are very restricted because the same reason and yeah this is it here's your answer why chat gpt cannot kill google and yeah thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one